During puberty, and this takes place from about 10 until we are about 15, our bodies go through a maturing process. Breasts begin to develop, and body hair begins to show. Inside, the pituitary gland begins to send hormones that complete our growth into adult women. The most dramatic sign of all this activity is the beginning of menstruation. It may seem like an event in its own right. Actually, menstruation is part of a process that takes about 28 days. To begin with, from the moment you are born, you carry the possibility of every child you may ever have. About half a million microscopic eggs wait in your ovaries for a hormonal message to begin their chance at life. Each month, a hormone from the pituitary gland stimulates one of these eggs for possible conception. The egg matures and enters one of the two fallopian tubes. This process is called ovulation. Then the egg travels for about three to six days through the fallopian tube towards your uterus. If sexual intercourse occurs during the next several days and you don't use a contraceptive, the egg is very likely to be fertilized and you will become pregnant. All this time, your uterus has been preparing itself for pregnancy by building up a special lining called the endometrium to receive, protect, and nourish the fertilized egg as it begins to grow. If you don't become pregnant, other hormones recognize this and let the egg disintegrate, causing the lining to break down and flow away. This is called menstruation, or your period. As soon as menstruation starts, the whole process begins again. Menstrual fluid is usually thought of as blood, but it is really just a small amount of blood mixed with all those special cells which are useless unless you are pregnant. For the record, the amount of this flow is only two or three ounces, though it may seem like more at the time.